What's up guys, back with another video. You might be wondering why I posted one video and then another one a few hours later. That's because I was on my laptop doing some laptop things and I was like, okay, let me go on my YouTube to check all the videos. And I'm scrolling, scrolling, bang. There's a video seven days ago and there's a video five days ago. Seven, seven days ago. And there's a video five days ago. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. It, it was vlog five and vlog six was a day missing. I didn't, I didn't post that day, but I have the video in my archive, like not in my archive, on my Adobe, and I'm like, okay, cool, I can just publish it and just add it on to the next day. Now, I full messed it up. Oh, oh my goodness. So now, I'm missing a day, so I decided, I'm, I already did the Bible verse, so I'll post it, deleted it itself, so I can't post it, but I'm going to make this and try and post twice. So technically, I didn't miss a day. I still recorded, I still did my Bible study for the day. I just didn't document it for that day, but in my heart, in my walk with Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit, all in one, all in one, um, I know that I did it. Anyway, so let's get straight into the Bible verse. Um, it is Psalms 5, verse 7. It says, But I enter your house by the abundance of your faithful love. I bow down towards the holy temple and revel in, rever, sorry, rever, 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 rever tale. Virtual, um, o, o of you, in reverend, I don't know that word, so, Bible, crazy big words, but, uh, yeah, obviously we're still doing the SOAP method for our Bible studies, uh, so that's S, um, O is basically how to, how, like, what do we take out of this, and so it's observe, uh, I wrote down, it says in the, the only way to enter the house of the Lord is by the abundance love, the abundance, his abundance love. God is always faithful towards every everyone. God is always here when we have every uh, when we have everything and nothing at the same time. He will never leave our side, no matter what we do or say. As we get uh, stronger in our relationship with God, we should bow down to Him. And even if we don't have the best relationship, go to a, a church or temple, holy temple, and just thank God for what He has done for us. So I'm not telling us, it's not saying like you have to go to a holy temple every Sunday to become Christians. It doesn't say we have to like read our Bibles to become Christians. We don't need to give 10%. Like I was watching a podcast the other day. Um, I think it was George Jenko's podcast with, um, oh, I can't remember his name, but he's a really good, prof like profound person that is, uh, went to a lot of colleges and talked about God in America. And he said on the cross with Jesus, and then he had another person, and one person was like, God, like a miracle boy from Nazareth, come and take us off, use your little magic dust and get us off here. And the other person turned to him, the other person, there was three, so that's Jesus, the bad person. And like they were both criminals, Jesus was not. And this one said, God, take us from, like, just take us, Jesus, take us off this cross right now, use your miracle dust. The other one said, and turned to him and said, uh, you stupid person. Well, not obviously that, but like don't you understand Jesus did nothing wrong we have been here because we are criminals we've done something wrong Jesus has never done anything wrong and he basically turned to Jesus and said like please remember me when you get to heaven and he said Jesus said uh, something about him coming with him but the thing was that Jesus this Jesus said to this person that you can come with me but that guy never like went to church that we know of he never repented, he never, like, before the cross, he's never, like, gone to a soup kitchen and offered his time, he's never gave, given money to the poor, you know, but God, uh, Jesus still lets him come to heaven with him, because he knows that Jesus is the one that is dying for his sins, and so we need to remember that God's love is never going to end no matter what, ever, in the whole time, that like, God is not even in tune with time because he's outside of time that's how big God is and so like God's love is forever so if you're ever there sitting and you're upset remember God is there God's not going to leave your side because his love is forever you may be sad you may have gone through a heartbreak you might be in a depressed state where you think no one loves you no one cares for you and trust me I've been upset a lot 2023 was a painful year. It was definitely a year for God guiding me, but oh my goodness, did God put me through some tough times. Trust me. But you know what? 
as soon as I realized that girls, money, like worldly things, even basketball, I love basketball, but I put so much stuff before God, God took so much away from me to realize that I am at the bottom. And at the bottom, God is there. Nothing else but God is there. But God is not just at the bottom. You're not there just when you're sad. God is the whole pit. God is outside the pit. God is to heavens. To heaven. Obviously there's one heaven. But God is to heaven. And so when he makes a new heaven and a new earth, I really hope I'm with God. Now. I really, really hope I'm with God. But it's just God's... I, sorry, I might be ranting, but it's just God's love is forever. And we need to understand that. So A, for, for the SOAP uh, Bible study. So how can we apply this into our real, like our everyday lives as Christians and faithful people? One person, yep. Uh, we, have, we have to realize that God is the answer to everything. He is the way, the truth, and the life. As we have shown our great, uh, great, as we show our great, gratefulness to God, we should bow down to Him and give thanks. Having a strong relationship with God shows us how much God is working in our lives, and I, and will also show God how un, um how God's love is never failing us, and He shows us every single day. When you, I tell, I've said, I feel like I just repeat myself, but I need to say it again. It doesn't matter what situation you are in, give thanks to God. No matter what you're going through, give thanks to God. Because my favorite, but my favorite Bible verse is, oh, now I can't remember it, but it's not off the dome, but it's it's on the lines of, the pain you are feeling now is no comparison to what God is about to give you. And trust me, I've gone through pain, I've gone through heartbreak, I've gone through a lot of different things, okay? And I'm not trying to say that I'm better than anyone. Trust me, I am definitely not a perfect Christian. But what I'm saying is that God has a plan for me. God has a plan for you and every single person on this earth. No matter if people want that plan, God still has a plan for them. And that is amazing. That is a, such a gift from God. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's just... Like, when I'm in a sad situation and I'm like, oh, no one loves me or no one's here for me, I've got to remember that God is, loves me. God is always there for me. And I'm going through these times because God is trying to prepare me to become a great Christian role model or person or something for His plan. And I have goals for this year that I pray to God about. I've been prophesied over, prayed over multiple times for goals, and every single time I get the same thing told me. And it's by people I didn't even know. I got prayed over today at church. And I did not know. I did not have a clue who this person was. I didn't even know his name. And I've never met this person. But he had said something that four other people has told me leading up to it. Telling me, oh, you are going to be a leader of Christ. And I didn't believe these people. I'm like, I don't know you, gang. Oh, sorry. But this is how I used to talk. I was like, I don't know you, gang. Like... I don't know who you are. I never was like in a deep like relationship with God. And I think why why is all these people telling me that I'm going to be a leader? Like I hardly know Christ. I'm the worst Christian out there. I cannot pray every night. I cannot read my Bible every night. I can't have the passion every single day. And then everyone keeps telling me, like people praying over me that I don't even know telling me you Will become a leader of Christ you've just got to pray to God and ask for it now I don't know that they they could be lying about that but God has a plan and you cannot forget that God has a plan for you pray for that plan pray for his will will be done on earth that is it as it is in heaven no matter what you do not have to be a leader I would rather be a sheep of Jesus for Jesus than a leader and I don't know what's going to happen in my life because only God knows but just be grateful and thank every single day that God has a plan for you. I hope you did enjoy, so I was a bit of a rant, but uh, let's just pray and give thanks to the Lord. Do what you need to do when you pray, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> Dear Lord Heavenly Father, I come before you today and give thanks for your unfail unfailing love. Lord, through all the hard times in my life, I have always been. you have always been there for me, guiding me and loving me step by step. God, please help me to never forget your love for me. Um, you ne never forget your love for me, Lord. 
Lord, please never let me forget how much you do for me every single day, even when I don't notice, Lord. I'm so sorry for every single time I let you down daily. I'm sorry for not having a strong enough willpower to fight off the devil. God, I won't. I want to give thanks to you for fighting the devil for me, for being there every single day as my rock and savior. I thank you for never giving up on me, Lord, for never turning your back on times when I didn't even think that you were real. Lord, at times when I was weak, you did not give up on me. You have faithful love, and you are always going to be there for every single person on earth, and we want to thank you, Lord. Please give me and everyone that's watching this video the strength to hum be humble in every single circumstances daily and stay faithful to you, Lord. I pray that your will, your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, thank you for every single person that is watching this video. Thank you for touching their hearts daily. Lord, thank you for protecting them with every single bit of your love. Lord, please, I pray for these people for you never forget how much sorry we never forget how much we love you lord but you have such an amazing love for us that no one on earth can compare to you lord we may think we love you with our whole heart but lord we are nothing compared to you your love is unfailing and Un unfaith is never unfaithful lord thank you for all that you do and we pray this in your heavenly name amen sorry about the video guys i know it's a bit random but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope I see you guys in the next video. And I hope there's another one later today. Maybe when you guys go to bed or whatever. But uh, yeah, hope this is up by... What's the date? Uh, I hope this is up by the 15th of January. But I'm not sure. Hope you see you guys later. Thanks for watching this video and may God bless.